Today, I'll show you how to add a stroke to text or images in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. First, make sure you have your text plus clip selected in the timeline. With the clip highlighted, open the inspector panel on the right side of the screen. Go to the video tab, then switch from title to shading. Now, let's switch to element two and enable it. By default, element two is labeled red outline. If you want a different color, go to the color section and click to pick any color you'd like for the stroke. You can even experiment with different colors to see what works best. Next, adjust the thickness of the stroke. There's a thickness slider at the top, which allows you to set the stroke width. The slider only goes up to 0.1, but if you want a thicker outline, you can manually enter a higher value. For further customization, make sure the appearance is set to text outline. This will make the stroke hug the shape of the text. You can also choose a different join style for the edges of the stroke. For instance, a round join style will give smoother corners, while meter join provides sharp edges. Pick the one that fits your design. If you only want to see the stroke and not the text fill, you can enable outside only. Then switch back to element one and disable it to hide the main text. You can also adjust tracking under the text tab if the strokes are overlapping in a way you don't like. Now let's talk about adding a stroke effect to images. If you're looking for a border effect around an image, go to the effects panel and find paper edge. This effect may look a bit unusual at first, but with a few adjustments, it can be a great stroke effect. First, change the border filter to circle to smooth out the edges. Increase the border slider to adjust the stroke width. If the edge looks too intense, you can lower the edge contrast all the way down to create a clean stroke around the image. If the stroke doesn't align perfectly with your image, adjust the X and Y values under edge position until it's centered. You can even add more paper edge effects if you want multiple strokes around the image. And that is it. We have added a stroke to our text and as well as our images. That's all for this tutorial on adding strokes in DaVinci Resolve.